We're here with Dr. Bongani Mayosi. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Do you mind talking to us about the rheumatic heart disease launch of research that is happening? We are planning to launch one of the largest clinical studies of rheumatic heart disease at this World Congress of Cardiology. Uh, the study is called the Invictus Trial Program and it is a study of 20,000 people in whom we will be testing whether rivaroxaban is equivalent or superior to uh, warfarin or aspirin. So this is intended to prevent stroke in people with rheumatic atrial fibrillation. What needs to be done to address the challenges of RHD? What really needs to be done is to translate the knowledge that we already have into policy and practice. We know enough to prevent rheumatic heart disease and that knowledge is based on the idea that treatment of a child with penicillin, a child who's got sore throat with penicillin, prevents rheumatic fever and in fact it's one of the most effective treatments uh, we can prevent rheumatic fever a hundred percent if we did this all of the time the problem that you have is a problem of translating that knowledge into the health system and making sure that it, it happens in countries and in populations that need it how is the world heart federation helping in this cause the world heart federation is probably the only global organization that has taken the problem of rheumatic heart disease on as one of its major thrusts. Uh, the World Heart Federation has set itself the target of reducing the death rate, reducing mortality from rheumatic heart disease by 25% by the year 2025 in those under 25. So we are working together with the World Heart Federation to achieve that. Who are we? Uh, we are cardiologists, we are uh, forming part, for example, in Africa of the Pan-African Society of, of Cardiology, and we are partnering to make sure that this happens in our countries, this happens in our continent. Thank you very much.